Hi, thank you for listening. Another video for the men and women have are held to different standards playlist. Uh, lots of people are sending me articles on this now, um, so th there's quite a lot. But this one here, I can't remember who sent me sent me half of these. Whoever it was, thank you because this one is just a peach. It's absolutely fantastic, man. So it is. It's, if you're ever wondering why women don't get taken seriously by a lot of people, this explains it. Um, it's from krdo.com Female officers allege age and sexual discrimination in lawsuit against the CSPD. Right. Colorado Springs. 12 female police officers have filed a discrimination lawsuit against the Colorado Springs Police Department. According to the complaint, they didn't pass the department's physical fitness test on the first try. Employees that don't pass are placed on light duty status, so are still given a job. According to the complaint, being placed on light duty was humiliating to the plaintiffs. Pass then. We first told you about the test in a special report in January. The following plaintiffs are listed in the suit. Officer, two officers, Rebecca Arndt and Nicole Baldwin, Lieutenant Catherine Buckley, Detective Stacy Clark, Detective Donya Davis, Officer Julie Garrett, Lieutenant Carolyn Graves, Detective Samantha Lambergs, Le Lembergs, Sergeant Jennifer Lewis, Officer Geraldine Pring, Lieutenant Magdalena Santos, and Detective Terry Thrumston. All of them are over 40, right? The 12 of them are over 40 some over 50. According to the lawsuit, the test is comprised of four individual parts, sit-ups, push-ups, the Illinois Agility Run and the BEEP test. It says each officer must achieve a score of 20 points to pass the test. The suit says sit-ups and push-ups are, are timed for one minute with a possible score of 8 points for each. The BEEP test is measured in 20 metre trips completed with a pace set by an electronic recording and a possible score of 8 points and the Illinois Agility Run is a timed running course with a possible score of 8 points. The plaintiffs argue in the suit that men and women have different physiological characteristics which result in a different physical ability to perform on three of the four tests. They say that age and sex should have been factored into the scoring structure for the tests and that the test was set up so that virtually all male officers could pass. Right. Okay. So this this is how it works, right? The the person who is in charge, the patriarchy goes to this person, right, and says, Look, we don't want women in here. Uh, so we want you to make tests that make sure men pass but women don't pass, right? Brilliant, right? But of course, this person who set this test by under orders of the patriarchy so that women couldn't possibly pass and all men could, um, they failed. I mean, really, really failed. They're, they're bad at taking their orders from the patriarchy, right? They're bad at following out their patriarchal orders. According to the lawsuit, of the 549 men who took the test, 12 failed and that of the 621 officers under 40 tested, three failed. The suit says 38% of women over 40 who took the test failed. Now, do you see what I mean? It's not the best patriarchal test when 62% of women over 40 pass the fucking test, is it? The majority of the women who took the test over 40 past. But these uh, layabouts, 12 of them, useless, probably fat, absolutely useless wastes of space are claiming that the test uh, was set up so that virtually all male officers could pass. 12 failed out of the 549 men uh, and 38% of the women over 40 who took the test failed. So the majority of them passed. So I would say that if this um, test, which totally discriminates against vaginas, I'd say it discriminates against, you know, fitness, 
probably. And not age, and not vaginas, but fitness. But that's just me. I'm only looking at the numbers, and that's all I can see. Because if it was to fail women, why does 62% of the women over 40 pass? It doesn't make any sense. The suit goes on to say that women have historically been underrepresented in the Colorado Springs Police Department. It says women make up between 12 and 13% of the force currently. So, that doesn't mean they're underrepresented in any way, shape or form. That means that of the people who have the job, 12 to 13% of them are female. That does not mean they're underrepresented. They're equally represented for the people who put in for the job. Is it, is it, they think because it isn't 50-50 they must be underrepresented. No, I'll tell you where they're underrepresented. Deep sea fishing, road construction, uh, road maintenance, construction, security, you know, there's uh, in the sewage department. They're underrepresented there. Why do, you, why do you go and complain about that? No, ladies, anyone, anyone? Bueller, Bueller, no, I don't fucking think so. Funny that. Lieutenant Catherine Buckley is one of the plaintiffs. She is the public information officer for the department. She said she could not comment on the lawsuit. She also said she could not comment on whether she would remain in her position at CSPD. Police Chief Pete Carey told KRDO News Channel he had not seen the lawsuit and would not be able to comment. You know, KRDO, gonna stop telling us all the people that didn't comment. <laughs> just, just don't bother mentioning them. You're not going to go through them all, are you, and say, but they didn't comment either. Oh, can I add any fucking comment? Why do you say that? God's sake. He said he would do an interview when all his officers passed the test. KRD on News Channel 13 asked if he still stood behind his decision to implement the tests, but he said he couldn't comment. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you telling us this? What are you, what's the point in this? Just to get an extra paragraph in the article, you paid by word? In the lawsuit, the plaintiffs claim that Commander Thor, what a fucking name, Thor Eels. What a fucking name. That's got to be one of the greatest names ever. Commander Thor Eels. Imagine telling people that eh, and who are you? I'm Commander Thor. And that's how you shall address me. Commander Thor. <laughs> Brilliant. Was the primary proponent of establishing the test. He failed. Failed his patriarchal duties. The suit says Eels is a close associate of Police Chief Pete Carey and a, a member of the decision-making body which selected the individual test for the overall fitness test. The plaintiff alle alleged that Eels has referred to female police officers as Seamus and Smurfs on multiple occasions, completely irrelevant to the fact that the people didn't pass the test. It's irrelevant. It doesn't mean, oh, he set that up so that women would fail because he called them Smurfs once. And when he said they were Seamus and Smurfs, eh, was this at a Halloween party where some of them were dressed as Smurfs? By chance, you know women are like with twisting things. You know, he called me Smurf. weren't you? weren't you dressed as a Smurf when he said that? That that doesn't matter. He called me Smurf. The lawsuit seeks an injunction that would keep the CSPD from enforcing the physical fitness testing protocols of the new program. The women are also seeking monetary damages. Oh well, of course, of course they are, because that's what it's all about. But they're trying to get an, a, a, an injunction that would keep them from enforcing the physical fitness testing protocols of the new program. I wonder if that would also uh, stop them from applying it to men, you know. If men don't pass the test, can they still get a job? Or is it only when women, fat arsed useless wastes of space, women over 40 who don't pass, is it only them this applies to? Hmm? Uh, most of the comments anyway are totally in favour of my side and that if you can't fucking pass, you've got as a, as a job with someone saying, you're carrying a gun as part of the job, we don't want you to do harm to people, you better be in fucking shape or you're in danger to yourself and your fellow officers and the public. Uh, but there's this uh, silly bint who says, I am a woman over 40 and I score high on this test but I support the lawsuit even though she's going, oh, I don't believe her. If other components that were considered but not chosen i.e. the sit and reach, replaced the beep test, I would score much lower, as would a lot of males. The test used to have tri uh, the test they used to have tried to simulate a foot pursuit, going under over obstacles, tackling a suspect, dragging a body, firing shots. Can't remember why that test went away. Probably because fucking women couldn't pass it. And they'd done a lawsuit, that's probably why it went away. Any of these women would give it their all in a fight or foot pursuit, 
and I'm confident going on any call with any of them. They are also going to give the investigation all they have to get the suspect, not do as little as possible and race on to the next call that sounds more exciting than your cold burglary or cold assault. No. All of these women are going to give their all. If they were going to give their all, why didn't they do that in the fucking test? And if they were giving their all in the test, they didn't pass and they're not good enough for the job. So light duties it is, at least they're still getting a fucking job out of it. It's not as if they're saying, right, you didn't pass, fuck off. They're saying you didn't pass, we're going to give you light duties. And if you can't pass, I would rather you were on light duties. I don't want you on the streets, fuck's sake. You're supposed to be protecting the fucking public and you can't even pass the basic fucking tests. Fuck that. 62% of women over 40 are capable of doing it. Just because these fat losers can't do it doesn't mean the, the, the police department should be sued. It's fucking unbelie- un-fucking believable. But the way they say, oh, this is set up so that men pass. How is it? This is set up so that virtually all male officers could pass. What a fucking load of horse shit. Twelve of them failed. Twelve of the men failed. So does that, are they going to get any of this money when it gets paid out? Or is it just going to be the women that failed that get the money? Hmm. And that's what'll happen. They, they, they'll to save themselves money. They'll give a payout. You know, save paying all the lawyers for the court time, and this could take years. Bad publicity. They'll probably end up paying out. And the guys who failed the test, they'll be like, "Oh, what, what about me? I've been put on light duties because I failed. Why am I not getting any of this compensation? Because you don't have a vagina." and you don't get special treatment. That's why only women get special treatment. They they go in, they do the test, they fail, they then complain about it and then demand money because they failed the test that 62% of them passed. And as I say, is it any surprise that you hear a lot of employers, and a lot of them won't say this, but a lot of them will not hire a woman. If I owned a company, I wouldn't hire women. Because as soon as you hire a woman, you've just placed landmines all over the workplace. It's a stupid thing to do. It's a fucking stupid thing to do. I'm sure there's some men that will play this this trick sometimes, especially if they're gay or non-white. But most of the time, you're safe hiring a man. But with women, you just place landmines all over the workplace for everybody, not just for the bosses. And, and, well, fuck that. Fuck that. Women, seriously, man, you're, it's not just that you're held to different standards. You demand to be held to different standards when it suits you. Hmm, funny that. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. And please do keep sending me articles because they're very interesting. Until next time. Hi, thank you for listening. Another video for the men and women have are held to different standards playlist. Uh, lots of people are sending me articles on this now, um, so th- there's quite a lot. But this one here, yeah, I can't remember who sent me sent me half of these. Whoever it was, thank you because this one is just a peach. It's absolutely fantastic, man. So it is. It's, if you're ever wondering why women don't get taken seriously by a lot of people, this explains it. Um, it's from krdo.com. Female officers allege age and sexual discrimination in lawsuit against the CSPD. Colorado Springs. Twelve female police officers have filed a discrimination lawsuit against the Colorado Springs Police Department. According to the complaint, they didn't pass the department's physical fitness test on the first try. Employees that don't pass are placed on light duty status. So are still given a job. According to the complaint, being placed on light duty was humiliating to the plaintiffs. Pass then. We first told you about the test. Men and women have different physiological characteristics which result in a different physical ability to perform on three of the four tests. They say that age and sex should have been factored into the scoring structure for the tests and that the test was set up so that virtually all male officers could pass. Right. Okay. So, this this is how it works, right? The, the person who is in charge, the patriarchy goes to this person, right, and says, look, we don't want women in here, uh, so we want you to make tests that make sure men pass, 
but women don't pass, right? Brilliant, right? But of course, this person who set this test back under orders of the patriarchy so that women couldn't possibly pass and all men could, um, they failed. I mean, really, really failed. They're, they're bad at taking their orders from the patriarchy, right? They're bad at following out their patriarchal orders. According to the lawsuit of the 549 men who took the test, 12 failed and that of the 621 officers under 40 tested, three failed. I'm only looking at the numbers and that's all I can see. Because if it was to fail women, why does 62% of the women over 40 pass? It doesn't make any sense. The suit goes on to say that women have historically been underrepresented in the Colorado Springs Police Department. It says women make up between 12 and 13% of the force currently. So? That doesn't mean they're underrepresented in any way, shape or form. That means that of the people who have the job, 12 to 13% of them are female. That does not mean they're underrepresented. They're equally represented for the people who put in for the job. Is it, is it, they think because it isn't 50-50 they must be underrepresented. No, I'll tell you where they're underrepresented. Deep sea fishing. Road construction, uh, road maintenance, construction, security, you know, there's uh, in the sewage department, they're underrepresented there. Why do you, why do you go and complain about that? No, ladies, anyone, anyone, Bueller, Bueller, no, I don't fucking think so. Funny that. Lieutenant Catherine Buckley is one of the plaintiffs. The suit says. 38% of women over 40 who took the test failed. Now, do you see what I mean? It's not the best patriarchal test when 62% of women over 40 pass the fucking test, is it? The majority of the women who took the test over 40 passed. But these uh, layabouts, 12 of them, useless, probably fat, absolutely useless wastes of space are claiming that the test uh, was set up so that virtually all male officers could pass. 12 failed out of the 549 men uh, and 38% of the women over 40 who took the test failed. So the majority of them passed. So I would say that if this um, test which totally discriminates against vaginas. I'd say it discriminates against, you know, fitness, probably, and not age, and not vaginas, but fitness. But that's just me. It's in a special report in January. The following plaintiffs are listed in the suit. Officer, two officers, Rebecca Arndt and Nicole Baldwin, Lieutenant Catherine Buckley, Detective Stacy Clark, Detective Donya Davis, Officer Julie Garrett, Lieutenant Carolyn Graves, Detective Samantha Lambergs, Le Lambergs, Sergeant Jennifer Lewis, Officer Geraldine Pring, Lieutenant Magdalena Santos, and Detective Terry Thrumston. All of them are over 40, right? The 12 of them are over 40, some over 50. According to the lawsuit, the test is comprised of four individual parts sit-ups, push-ups, the Illinois Agility Run and the BEEP test. It says each officer must achieve a score of 20 points to pass the test. The suit says sit-ups and push-ups are, are timed for one minute with a possible score of 8 points for each. The BEEP test is measured in 20 metre trips completed with a pace set by an electronic recording and a possible score of 8 points. And the Illinois Agility Run is a timed running course with a possible score of 8 points. The plaintiffs argue in the suit 